Hey, I'm back and I have lots of crochet and knitting projects to share with you. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I have is this crochet blanket. Now I started this a while back and I had it in my um, projects that I needed to finish. It is a V stitch crochet pattern. I used a size K hook and I used two different kinds of ice yarn for it. I used um, this white softly baby and it's such nice soft yarn. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then I also used Picasso, which is one of the ice yarns. It's really soft too. And Picasso is, um, it's called Picasso green, purple, yellow, pink. So I used one strand of this, then one strand of this, one strand of this, like, you know, I just kept switching. And I started off with a couple strands of white and then I ended it with a couple strands of white. And so it's really nice. It's like, it's definitely really big. And let me see if I can show you how long it is. It's pretty long. So I love how it turned out. And I'm super excited to have it finished. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. Okay, so the next thing that I have is I have a purple baby hat that I uh, made. I still don't have it with me because I gave it away already, but I will insert a photo here. Okay, and then I used Softly Baby in the lilac color. And it's, this is the ice yarns again. And it's so nice. And I held it along with a strand of this ice yarns snowflake. It has all different kinds of little specks in it. So one strand of each held together. I cast on 54 stitches. I knit it. Uh, with a size six needle for the rib and seven for the body of the hat. And I love how it turned out. So it was just a little quickie hat for a gift for someone. Okay, so the next thing that I have, okay, I love this project, is my Something Cozy sweater. And I really love how it turned out. It is kind of like a, a cross between a sweater and a poncho, really. And it is, uh, I used DK weight yarn held with a mohair. I had it on earlier, but it got too warm, so I had to take it off. I couldn't film with it on. But let me just show you. So I, so I held one strand of this, and I had a whole skein left. I had bought, I think, five skeins, and I only needed four for my size. But, and then you have to measure yourself and figure out which size you would make and all that. And then I held it one strand of mohair with it. And then, so this is just mohair. It's just a, a plain non-dyed mohair. And that is what I held together to make the sweater. And that yarn is by Chelsea Lux. It's in her Hocus Pocus colorway. And I really, I really love like the grays and the purples and everything like that in it. I thought I will get a lot of use out of that color for a sweater. So, and then, you know, it's a cross between a sweater and a poncho. So it's really kind of slouchy. And I did like a kind of a short sleeve, like, you know, maybe this long or so. I just love how it turned out. And it will be definitely so cozy to wear it around, you know, when it gets cold. And I made a cropped version of it because mostly like I'm sitting here working and I thought a cropped version is perfect. If I had a really long version, I just felt like it would be too much, like too warm maybe while I'm sitting here working. So I will insert photos of me with it on. because I took it off because I was too warm. <laughs> but here, then um, the next 
thing and I, I love how that turned out. It, it's really cozy, definitely something cozy like the name says. So, okay, so the next thing I have is a knit beanie and this is also with um, Chelsea Lux yarn. This one was Christmas Jammies is the colorway. And it came um, like a sock set, really. It came um, with this yarn and this little mini skein of this brown. Let me get my, so you can see it. I really love this. And I definitely will have enough. I might even have enough for another pair of shorties, shorty socks or fingerless mitts or another hat, whatever I choose to make with it. But I definitely have enough. And I knit this little hat. And now it's just a knit beanie. It has like a long rib on it. And then you can just fold it up. And, you know. And I made a big stripe on it. I really like how it turned out. I cast on 152. I did a single strand of um, the sock yarn. I... Yeah, I told you it's Christmas jammies in the Lux sock. And then I wasn't sure about the brown stripe that came with it. It didn't, it didn't say on the little label what uh, the colorway was. Um, I don't know. She's got lots of different colors. You can go check it out on her website. Of course, I'll link it down below. Um, so I love it. I love how it turned out. It's so cute. Okay. Okay, so the next thing that I have is this rib and gather hat. So I was working on this last time also. I was using this, this yarn, um, I had ordered special to try to make this hat because this is what they recommended or what the designer was using. And this is by Potter and Bloom. And she had a YouTube uh, video of how to make this. And then I think she also had written up a pattern as well. But this is the yarn that I had left in the ball. I mean, it's huge. I could totally make another hat. So it's Sirdar Jewel Spun. And then this one is 839 Northern Lights. I'll put all this down below if you want. I don't know why I'm showing you right now, but it's down below. So in case some people, they have trouble finding where the little arrow is, but so Northern Lights colorway, Sirdar, and this is how the hat turned out. And it's a beanie and it's ribbed all the way. This one is like super cool because it's like a twisted rib. I think, is that what it is? I think it, that's what it's called. I can't even remember. I did it a while ago. <laughs> But it's, um, this one I love. Look at how cute it is. And I made this one for one of my friends. So she's going to be excited. She asked a long time ago if I would knit her an all ribbed hat. I was like, uh, no. That seems like a lot of work. But I was knitting this and I thought, you know who I should give this to? A Molly. Because she wanted an all ribbed hat. So, so I am going to give it to her next time I see her. So it's super cute and it's warm. I used a size seven needle, 4.5, um, 16 inch circulars is what I used to knit it with. Okay, and that's the details on that. I will link the video down below of how to do it, you know, the tutorial. And it was a really cool pattern. So, and once you, get, once you start with it, it's fine. It's not so hard. Um, but you're like, gosh, the whole thing in rib, but you get used to it. So it wasn't so bad. All right. So the next thing that I have is a float tote. So I had always wanted to make one of these. This is a float tote. So this one's by Natalie Coons, the pattern, and it's a crochet bag and you make it for a multi skein project. So it holds skeins of yarn inside of the bag. So let me see if I could hold it up so I could show you. So inside the bag you make these little cups and the cups sit on this little tray. You take the tray out like this. And then the yarn, you can either put yarn balls or you can put 
cakes of yarn like inside here like that and then just pull from the inside um, and you know and it keeps everything not in a mess in your, the bottom of your bag so if you're using like lots of different colors this is nice for that so that it doesn't you don't have to like spend all this time straightening out your bag and you know your yarn that's all twisted together um, before you start you know knitting or crocheting so I love it it's so you make this little tray you crochet it and then you use these little snaps so it's like this little snap and you just put it on there so like there's a snap on there one side on there and it attaches down here and you snap the little cups back onto your tray and so this whole thing just goes back inside the bag and so you crochet the bag like this and then you put the tray in it is super cool it took a little bit of time to crochet of course because you're holding two strands of cotton yarn and so let me show you what I used. I used this sugar and cream and I used it in the this one is oh a uh, soft uh, ecru Let's see if it'll focus. And then I also use this denim. And it's in sugar and cream too. So I got both of these. And I also got the little, the little snaps. I just ordered a little bag of them. Because I kind of feel like I might make more of these. And I got them on Amazon. So I got the yarn from Lovecrafts because they were having a sale on, you know, the cotton yarn. But I also, like, I had run out and I needed one more skein of this, and I found it at Michael's. So I just stopped there and got the one skein I needed. I love how it turned out. The whole thing about taking the tray out is when you take the tray out, if you, if you get this dirty, you can wash it, and then the tray is still fine. The tray doesn't really get dirty because you're not, you know, putting the tray on the ground or wherever, you know. So I love how it turned out. It did take some time just because you have to kind of give yourself breaks from using the two strands of cotton, but I, I do like it. It's such a nice project bag, so I definitely love it. Okay, so the next thing that I have, okay. Okay, so I have some fingerless mitts. Okay, so I have a tutorial on my how I make my fingerless mitts. And I just have one of them made. This is what it looks like. And I wanted it like to match one of my dresses that I wear all the time. So, um, so I pulled out this out of my stash. It's opal yarn. And it's colored 2312. I used a size 2.75 needle. And of course I won't use the whole thing. I just made the first mitt already. But I'm going to make the second one and then I'll definitely have enough either for a hat or something else. I used a size 2.75 uh, needles. And I will link the pattern uh, the tutorial of how I make my fingerless mitts. They're super quick and easy up above. And so you can go there and uh, so you can go knit a pair along with me. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I have is a pair of socks. Okay, so I just started these. They're not, uh, I don't have enough to put one on a blocker yet. But this is the pattern. It's the crunkled sock pattern. And I just love how it knits up. It's super cool. I'm doing like a stripe, a self-striping yarn. And I just love it. And I love this little guy too. I don't know if you can see him. He's like a little snowman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is? There he is. He's so cute. So um, yeah, so this is a crunkled sock pattern by Kay Jones. I'm using size 2.75 needles. I'm using the Cozy Knitter, she's out of Canada, uh, Cozy Knitter yarn in her shimmer base. 
and it is a 84 super wash yarn and then 16 silver Selena. And this is what it looks like. It's super cute. It's in the joyful colorway. And it's a self striping yarn. See a piece of my hair on there. But I love this. I think that I've knit um, this pattern before and I don't, I believe I made fingerless mitts with it. I don't believe I've made a pair of socks with it yet. So I was like, I'm going to make a pair of socks with this set. All right. So the next thing that I have is a pair of socks. So I have, and I don't have them finished. I am on the second sock. This is the first one. I finished it. It is... Um, in the homespun house yarn and this is what it looks like there's the yarn and the yarn is called mermaid mermaid of the black lake super cool I love how it has like dark colors and then pops of purple and stuff yeah mermaid of the black lake it's a 80 merino 20 nylon and it's in her plump merino base and then I used, um, for the heels and the cuffs, I used this signature um, yarn that I had left over from another project. It is in the Nutmeg colorway, number 630, and it's their four-ply. So they have like a big line of yarns that are just like sock yarns in different colorways. And I, I love the West Yorkshire Spinners yarn. It's a little bit more toothy, but it will last longer, you know? So that's what it looks like. I love how it's turning out. It's so nice. And I'm on my second one. So I'm just about ready to put in my um, waist yarn for my heel. Okay, that's everything. Uh, if you want to stick around, I've got the Denver Cruise projects. I'll see you next time. Bye.